with me to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Geukeni pamoja nami kitabu cha Wathesalonike wa kwanza mlango wa 4. The lead scripture that clearly illustrates the day of the coming of the Lord to snatch the church. Andiko la mwongozo linalosherekea siku ya Bwana kuja kulinyakua kanisa. The fundamental scripture. Andiko la mwongozo la msingi. He says the following. Anasema yafuatayo. First Thessalonians we're going to read first verses uh, First Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 to 18. Wa Thessalonike wa kwanza mlango 4 mstari wa 13 hadi 18. He says the following. Anasema yafuatayo. Brothers and sisters. Dugu zangu na dada zangu. So now, kwa hivyo sasa, the Lord wants to talk about the rapture. Bwana anataka kuzungumzia kuhusu unyakuzi. And the cascade, the cascade. Na ile mwondoko wake. The roll out of the rapture. Upangilio wake wa unyakuzi matukio. How? How that day siku, jinsi siku hiyo is going to unfold. Inaenda kuji, kujifunua. He wants to start talking about it. Anataka kuanza kuizungumzia. But the first thing he addresses lakini kitu cha kwanza anachokishughulikia is that that day ni kwamba siku hiyo is not for everybody. Sio ya kila mtu. He begins by disqualifications. Anaanza kwa kufutulia watu wengine kando. By saying kwa kusema brothers and sisters ndugu na dada zangu meaning the church kumaanisha kanisa meaning the rapture is for the church alone kumaanisha unyakuzi ni wa kanisa peke yake if you will be able to catch some of the wonderful benefits of the day i am about to describe and you feel from new york or wherever that you want to be part of it you must be born again first ukit 